get in. So let us start from today with the topic uh, MRP procedures. So yesterday, as we discussed uh, very higher level, what are the different types of MRP or different procedure of MRP? So we can have MRP as a consumption based planning or regular material requirement planning. So this regular MRP we have already discussed. Then we have to focus on consumption based planning. So what is the consumption based planning? In that, we will talk about reorder point planning. Then we will talk about in the reorder point planning, there are two more types that is manual reorder point and automatic reorder point. This forecast based planning and time phase planning are going to be there, but majorly used by MM people. So we are not focusing on those two points, but we will, from PP perspective, we'll talk about reorder point planning and manual reorder point planning and automatic reorder point planning. Okay. So as we discussed yesterday, there are three class of material, types of material, class A material, class B, class C. Class A material means by quantity, by quantity wise, the quantity is very less, but the price is high. For example, we took an engine uh, of car, is the example of class A item. For car, if we take engine, engine is going to be class A item. And if you talk about class C item, then nut bolts or bush or rubber parts are going to be a a very less cost for a component, but their quantity is going to be very high. Okay. So those components are called as a class C item. So this kind of item are going to be considered as a your bulk item, or we can say those components are considered as your uh, consumables, and these consumables we are going to update as a bulk item in system. And then for this kind of product, we can go for consumption based planning. Okay. If you remember, zero three. Okay, I think this is our one of the product. Go to MRP view. Here we have to update the material as a bulk material, and before that, you can see here is the ABC indicator. Okay, so here you can update bulk material. Okay, now why we call it as a bulk material that we have yesterday discussed during in this example, right? I have given an example of gunny bag or this nut bolts which we are procuring. Okay. So assume so we are procuring our this nut bolt uh, in this kind of gunny bag or okay, juice bag. And every time whenever we procure, we are expect it is a 20 kg bag or 10 kg bag, it may be having 99,960 components. Okay, if we count it inside me. Okay, but when the next time the bag will come, the next procurement will same bag will be having 10 kg weight by weight, but quantity will be something different. Okay, so procurement type, whenever we are going to do procurement, the point is going to be changed. Okay, quantity is going to be varied. So we cannot control exact quantity as per bill of material. Okay, in bill of material also, the quantity for one um, car, so we'll take example one car, it's going to have, assume there are 1000 bolts are being used, but it's really not possible on the shop floor because there are a lot of reasons because of which these that bolts get cracked, get damaged, may get slip out. Okay. And because of that, actual consumption will be more. It is not the same as per given in your bomb. Okay. It will be more than that. So, in that case, what we can do, we can go for instead of going for the regular MRP. Okay. MRP is directly going with your bomb and all calculation, right? We have discussed already. So instead of going with MRP, we should go with a consumption based plan. In consumption based planning, first part is reorder point planning. Okay, so reorder point planning we are going to use for our lowest component, okay, raw material, and we will try to understand how this reorder point plan 
is going to work okay